Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's video, I'll show you how to change the color of your material without actually having to change your base texture. So these colors uh, are in the game itself. You can change them on the fly. You can put in different colors in anything that you want. Um, so instead of pink, you can use a blue or whatever and you don't have to re-import your texture every single time it's just how you can change the color while you're still busy working on your your model or your material so um, stick around I hope you learned something new in this video and let's get started all right so the first thing we want to do is just open our material and for those of you that follow the other videos, you'll see that this is the material that we created in the first video. If you haven't watched it, I will put a link in the top left corner uh, right now. I highly recommend that you just watch the video just so you can follow along and actually uh, know where we're working from. Um, if not, you can still uh, follow the basics and you'll still get an idea of how to do this. So. What we're going to do now is we're going to right click, we're going to type in vector and under the parameters tab there's vector parameter and then in the details tab for that vector parameter there's the material expression vector parameter and if you click it it will give you like a color picker. Now notice the alpha is set to zero so that will be fully transparent so we just push that to one and then we select a color here that up and click OK. So now we got like our goldish color and what we're going to do now is just right click add a multiply. We're going to feed this into A and feed our original texture into B and then the result of that feed that into the base color. And then you'll see here color has changed. You click apply I actually noticed that all of these will also change over as our very yellow. And now you could just go into it again, change the color, click apply again, and go into the game. And then you'll see that everything, if it will just compile, there we go, has changed color as well. Now for instance, let's say that you don't want the entire object to change color, you just want the tiles and not the grouting to change color. So for that we're going to use a texture mask. Uh, if you didn't watch the other video where we created this texture mask, link in the top left, but I'll just quickly show you how to do that. Um, you're just, just a quick rundown. But basically how this works, red, green and blue, so your RGB colors. So we fill these white tiles uh, or these tiles with red color and then if you look at how they display, they display as white. So that essentially will tell the material to only use the white texture or the, the white parts um, or the, those particular values. So in order to create this, you can just jump over to your original texture that you made, your tiles, and you can just fill it with red just make sure it's like full on red so it has to be under these rgb values the red has to be 255 green and blue must be zero and the same for if you're going to use blue blue must be 255 and green and red must be zero and again the same for green and then you can just fill all of these of the colors that you want you can even put a blue tile just here in the middle if you want that to do something completely different like could be a completely random color but for now we're just going to keep it simple i'm going to jump back over to unreal Oops. and in our material we're going to import the mask i'm going to delete the multiply just going to move that over there. My texture coordinates, which were two by two, I'm just going to feed into there, just so everything will um, look the same and match up. I'm going to right click, I'm going to add a lerp. And then I am going to add the red channel from this, uh, our mask into the alpha. 
and then I'm going to add our base texture into A and then our uh, red color into B and then we're going to feed that into the base color and there you see it changes the colors only of the tiles that you want all right but let's say for instance now that you want the grouting also to be a different color so for that we're going to create another lerp and this time we're going to feed the green channel into the alpha we're going to feed our texture into a and then we're going to just create another vector parameter now notice one thing that keep naming conventions in mind so what I mean by that is that if I go into this one and I start changing the colors because it's the same name as this um, other one it will think that it's referencing each other so just to keep it easy change the names we're going to change this one to grout and we're just going to change this one to tile and then we're going to feed this one this is not hide it away we're just going to give it a color first let's give it a blue color let's try that again blue color click ok we're going to feed that into B now right click again add a multiply node then feed the original lerp into A, the other lerp into B, and then feed that into your base color. And then you'll see there, like, nice, we got our colors. And we're just going to close this out and we're going to see what that looks like. Just waiting for it to do its thing. And there we go. So we got the pink color there and then the blue color it looks completely horrible. Um, just the colors, not not the material, actually. So, but now let's say that you want to do this on. You want to just uh, grab this, and you want to do it quickly. You don't want to go into a material, then make another material. So, in order to do this, uh, what we're going to create now is called a material instance. I know I'm covering quite a bit in this video, but just bear with me. So. Creating a material instance that's referencing your original material. So you right click your original material, create material instance, and you double click it. Then it will give you these options. Now you'll see that your vector parameter values are here, your grout and your tile. And you can change them on the fly. Makes it a lot easier. So let's quickly pick a color here. Uh, let's go for something that actually looks like tile. So let's go we go something dark gray click OK we're going to save that but now you notice that my material didn't change that's because the material instance is a completely different material so we can just drag it off and put it onto every part of our note that these are four separate meshes that's why I have to put it on the four different parts so our original material will stay intact and the material instance will change the color. So that makes it easier because then you can create a different material instance for every single um, wall or object that you have, which would um, just make the work of creating a new material easier. Uh, there are another way, well, there are other ways to do it using blueprints where you can change the color on the go of every separate object um, in your details panel here on the right but we'll leave that for another tutorial some other time so if you guys like what you saw please subscribe to my channel um, I will be uploading more content I'm currently working on another tutorial series so um, if you guys want to see more the best way to do that would be to subscribe you can leave, leave a like and you can leave a comment and then I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. Bye-bye.